The supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. All war is deception. All wars are won or lost before they are ever fought. It is more important to outthink your enemy than to outfight him. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. First, make yourself unbeatable, then go to war. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. Move swift as the wind, and closely formed as the wood. Attack like the fire, and be still as the mountain. Let your rapidity be that of the wind, your compactness that of the forest. Move not unless you see an advantage. Use not your troops unless there is something to be gained. Fight not unless the position is critical. Rouse him, rouse him, and learn the principle of his activity or inactivity. Force him to reveal himself so as to find out his vulnerable spots. Build your opponent a golden bridge to retreat across. Success in warfare is gained by carefully accommodating ourselves to the enemy's purpose. The height of strategy is to attack your opponent's strategy. Energy may be likened to the bending of a crossbow, decision to the releasing of the trigger. Leadership is a matter of intelligence, trustworthiness, humaneness, courage, and sternness. Using order to deal with the disorderly, using calm to deal with the clamorous, is mastering the heart. The peak efficiency of knowledge and strategy is to make conflict unnecessary. Do not engage an enemy more powerful than you, and if it is unavoidable and you do have to engage, then make sure you engage it on your terms, not on your enemy's terms. Convince your enemy that he will gain very little by attacking you. This will diminish his enthusiasm. If your opponent is of choleric temper, seek to irritate him. Pretend to be weak, that he may grow arrogant. The good fighters of old first put themselves beyond the possibility of defeat, and then waited for an opportunity of defeating the enemy. Do not swallow bait offered by the enemy. Do not interfere with an army that is returning home. Plan for 
what is difficult while it is easy. Do what is great while it is small. When your strategy is deep and far-reaching, then what you gain by your calculations is much, so you can win before you even fight. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. The opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. If quick, I survive. If not quick, I am lost. This is death. Thus, the expert in battle moves the enemy and is not moved by him. We are not fit to lead an army on the march unless we are familiar with the face of the country, its mountains and forests, its pitfalls and precipices, its marshes and swamps. Supreme excellence consists of breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. <laughs>